Hello guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this channel, we are going to learn Visual Basic .NET from the very beginning. Let's say you are one who do not have got prior coding experience and you need someone who can teach you from very basics, from the scratch and teaching you very slowly and letting you know all the small things at one at a time so that your learning journey becomes easy. You have reached to the right series and the right channel. The very first thing to learn any coding language is to have the right platform. So what is the platform if you have to learn Visual Basics? You need an application or a platform on which you are going to develop and that is install Visual Studio. This is the very first step. And remember, in this series, we are going to start for the beginners who do not have experience, the coding experience you do not have. You would like to learn everything from the scratch. This is the series we are going to start from the very beginners level. We'll move on to intermediate and then advanced level, like level zero, level one, level two, and up to the advanced level we are going to learn. So this is the right channel that you have reached. Let's get started and start our very first step of installing the Visual Studio, which is the platform or the environment or the application that you need to start your coding. So let's get started. Go to your browser and type Microsoft Visual Studio. And this is going to give you a link, which is from visualstudio.microsoft.com. Click on this link. In this link, you find something called downloads. Click on downloads. And here you can see Visual Studio 2022. Based on the time that you are going to open this link, you might see a higher version. That's fine. Just go ahead and click on this. Now, once you click, once you have this Visual Studio 2022, there are actually multiple versions available. Starting from the community, and then you have professional, and then you have enterprise. This are comes with a free trial, but this one is completely free for you to start your learning journey. So I would recommend you to go with the community edition. I'm going to click on free download. Wait for a few seconds. And your download should begin automatically. You can see the download has started. Once the download is complete, you would find Visual Studio setup.exe. It is a quite a small MB download at the beginning. All you do simply click on this. Now you might get a prompt which says user ac ac you know, account control. If you get it, simply hit on yes. And this is what you would see. Visual Studio installer. I'm going to minimize everything so that we just focus on this. Visual Studio installer, before you get started, we need to set up few things to so that you can configure your installation. All you do hit on the continue button here. Just wait. What it does is first it is trying to download the entire file that is required for you to install and then it will start the installation. Okay, it has downloaded. Now just wait for a few seconds. This is the installer, okay? What exactly it is downloading? It is downloading the installer. Once that is complete, you would find this kind of a page where you would see workload is highlighted. If you see workload, and below that you have multiple options, ASP.NET, Azure Development, Node.js, Python, .NET, and .NET Desktop Development. So here, for Visual Basic, you would be selecting this particular checkbox, okay, .NET Desktop. And this itself is around 6.92 GB. For example, if I select this, you can see the GB is increasing. Now you can again come back and install all of them. That's not a problem. But right now for Visual Basic, what you need is this, .NET Desktop Development. Just put a checkbox. And on the right hand side, you can see all of the required components are by default selected. For example, the .NET Framework, Entity Framework, .NET Profiling Tools. If you do not have any knowledge around this, that's fine. Just 
allow as the default option the moment you select it get automatically selected leave them as it is okay now you can see it is like 7.2 gb again let me uncheck it once again select it so you can see 6.92 gb okay so now once it is selected all you have to do is you can look at the location where it is installing it is going to install under program files and then microsoft visual studio i will leave it as it is in case you are interested you can click and change the location as well so i'm going to leave it as it is and let me click on install there are two options just click on install now this is going to take a lot of time it depends on your internet speed it is going to download almost like 6 gb 7 gb data it is going to download simply wait for some time until it all completes once the download is complete then the installation will automatically start all you have to do just grab a cup of coffee or tea and wait for it to complete you can see the download has completed and the installation is in progress let us wait for some more time you can see the installation is complete done installing now i'm going to click on ok and here you have the option to launch i'm going to click on launch and you can see the microsoft visual studio 2022 is trying to open it might ask you to sign in you can do that or also you can skip for now i'm going to quickly sign in to sign in you might require a microsoft or a outlook email account if you do not have you can just skip that in the next screen it will tell you development settings you have multiple options like general javascript visual basic c sharp now all you do go with the general one if you are very specific to go with visual basic you can do that but we will be using for multiple languages so let's keep it a general and you have multiple options like blue uh, light uh, extra contrast so all of these options are there dark is by default selected i'll just go with the dark one and i'm going to click on start visual studio now here the visual studio is up the background screen i'm going to close it and how do you operate here how do you create a new project that thing let's learn in our next video where we will get a tour of the visual studio how it works and how you are going to use it to start your visual studio coding exercises let's move on to our next video